Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the positives and negatives of artificial intelligence, also known as AI. Now, right off the bat, when I say the word AI, many of you in this room probably think, oh, AI is evil. Robots are going to take over the world. Well, this isn't necessarily true. If you think about it, throughout history, humans have created a multitude of inventions that have enabled society to accomplish great things. For example, the wheel, or the radio, and now the smartphone. AI just might be the next big thing. And just like all new things, people are terrified. And it's okay to be scared. Recently, I have taken it upon myself to learn a little bit more about artificial intelligence since I know it's going to have such a big impact on me. And from the research and experiments that I have seen, I believe that AI has the potential to be a phenomenal resource. But this can only be done if it's used safely and wisely. So if you're thinking, oh, this doesn't really apply to me, I don't use AI, take a moment to look in your pocket or your purse. And if there's a phone in there, then I hate to tell you, but that is AI. The official definition of artificial intelligence is a computer system that resembles neurons in the human brain and is able to pick up on patterns in the information that it receives. So there are three models of AI. First being um, supervised AI. And this is where a human feeds the computer information and points out the patterns and it is up to the AI to practice those patterns in order to accomplish a human task. So think of this as training a child to do something. You must first give them a situation and then show them how to accomplish that situation and then give them a few practice problems to ensure they know the skill. A real world example of supervised AI is any sort of face recognition where you're giving the AI a photo of your face, classifying who it is, and then it is up to the AI to recognize that face any time that it sees it. The next model is unsupervised AI. And this is where a human is still feeding the computer information, but it is up to the computer to point out the patterns itself. An example of this is ChatGPT. So in this case, the question is the information that a human is giving the computer, and it is up to that computer to find a keyword in your question in order to formulate its answer. The last model is reinforced AI, and this is known to be the most advanced type that we have right now. This is because it does not need a human to give it any information. Rather, it observes a human task and is able to mimic it by itself. An example of this is a self-driving car. The AI can just watch a human drive a car and then learn to drive it by itself. So as you can see, there are uh, many benefits that AI has. And I'm going to give you three ways that it can be used in the workforce. First, it can be used at, in the medical field. It can allow doctors to spend less time diagnosing the patient and more time on the treatment of the patient. So let's say you're a doctor and you want to separate images of broken bones from non-broken bones. All this is is pattern recognition, so AI can be used for the task. All you have to do is give it x-ray images of both types and it'll be able to decipher the two by itself. AI could also be used in the manufacturing field. So as you may know, manufacturing can be a very dangerous job, and AI is already being used in car manufacturing specifically to take the load off of the workers and do more of the dangerous jobs more efficiently. AI also has the potential to be used in the education field. Now, I'm not trying to say that robots are going to take over teachers' jobs. Rather, it can be used to help aid the process especially since it's already so hard to find teachers due to the low wages. With all these benefits, there are also many concerns, and I'm going to give you the three main types. Number one is a concern with the accuracy. Right now, AI is not very accurate, and it needs to be if it's going to be working in the workforce. 
And this is because it is so intertwined with humans that it's gonna put a lot of people's lives at risk if it malfunctions. So they say you shouldn't be a perfectionist, but AI needs to be as accurate as possible. Another huge concern is bias in the information that AI is receiving. So like I said, humans are the ones that are training these machines. So if the human trains the AI information with bias, then that AI is gonna be biased as well. An example of this happened pretty recently when Apple products were making their um, face recognition AI. They only tested it on individuals with lighter skin tones. So whenever it, the prototype was being presented, it could not recognize people with darker skin tones as easily. So this really brought to light how important it is for AI to be inclusive of everybody. And I personally stress this issue because I know that minorities have always been excluded from major accommodations. So I personally want to make sure that AI is not another thing on that list and we are able to be all inclusive in the development of the technology. So I was able to see all these positives and negatives into effect with a research project that I did to make an AI generated pneumonia detector. So we did this by feeding the AI both images of patients with pneumonia and without, so that way it can decipher the two types. While doing this project, I noticed that innovations like this could really take the load off of doctors and it could really help our society. However, I also noticed that despite all the images that we kept feeding it, it could only get to an accuracy rate of 80%. And this was because the information, or the AI, was becoming too familiar with the information that we were giving it. So not only do we have to make sure that we are feeding the AI enough information, but we also have to make sure that it is training and always learning. So to sum this all up, I do believe that AI can be a phenomenal resource but we must make sure that we have a medium between the positives and negatives and work to improve it as much as we can. But as you already know, AI is everywhere. So it is very important that everybody knows how it works and what it is so they can interact with it. So I think that as long as we can use it ethically and wisely, It'll be a great thing. Thank you.